It's week two of Mirror Now's campaign, Old Car, Not Bekar. Over the past week, we have put the spotlight on the Delhi government's high-handedness, where private overage vehicles are being seized and sent to the junkyard without any prior notice. These past few days, we've heard many stories from you about how your prized possessions are being towed away from right outside your homes and offices, from inside gated communities as well, of how law-abiding, tax-paying citizens are being violated, trampled upon and quashed. Now, after multiple attempts at passing the buck and dodging questions, today the Special Commissioner for Transport in Delhi was forced to respond to citizens. He met with people whose cars were picked up by his department without any notice. And from what we are learning, the Transport Department has agreed to return the vehicles of non Delhi citizens. Essentially, if you don't have a number plate, they are saying we could return it to you. But here's the catch. These people will have to prove to the Delhi government that their vehicles were indeed picked up from their residences slash gated colonies. So this is what the scenario is like. The government essentially has put the onus back on the people. First, you pick up a vehicle from outside my home. And then to release it, you want me to prove that it was indeed picked up from outside my home. What can I say, ladies and gentlemen? This really is the theatre of the absurd that is playing out in the national capital. Sir, today, Sir, 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 और कुछ टाइम से जो नाव मिरर नाव ने जो कैंपेन चला रखा है इससे काफी असर हुआ है शायद हमें उम्मीद है आज गाड़ी छूट जाए हमारी क्योंकि हमारी गाड़ी हमारे घर के आगे से बिना बताए हम बिना नोटिस दिए हमारे घर के आगे से उठ गई है Let me go straight across to Ila, who was the one who was tracking the meeting with the Transport Commissioner. Uh, Ila, for the last two weeks, you've been speaking to many residents uh, whose vehicles have been picked up from outside their homes, from outside their offices, from inside their gated colonies as well. And all of this without any prior notice. Can you tell us what exactly happened in this meeting? Well, absolutely, Shira. Relentlessly, we have been covering this topic, this issue of citizen grievances, how the old cars have been picked up and without any prior information, without any prior notice, which is not the case in National Capital Daily, even if you are having an old vehicle, if it's not plying on the car or is not parked on public place, then there is no right to the authority to, uh, to to take the car away for the scrapping. I'm being joined uh, by one of the complainant himself. He just has met uh, with the Commissioner Raja Ji. और पार्किंग में से उठी है कह रहे वो वीडियो निकाल के लाओ पार्किंग में से ले जाते हुए गाड़ी को वो वीडियो नहीं है मेरे पर ये दूसरी वीडियो है जो मैंने इनको दिखाई भी है कि ऐसे ऐसे मेरी गाड़ी उठी है और एक बार दिखा सकते हैं वो वीडियो आप जी मैम भी एक बार मैं अपने कैमरा पर्सन से बोलूंगी ये घर के आगे से मेरे घर के पार्किंग में खड़ी थी गाड़ी जो इन्होंने उठाई है और बिना नोटिफ केस और बिना उसके इंटीमेशन के गेटेड है सोसाइटी आपकी गेटेड है जी मैम पूरी कवर्ड है पूरी चारों तरफ से गेटेड है चारों तरफ से गेटेड है जी मैम और उसके बाद ये आप बताइए आप कहाँ से लाएंगे प्रूफ जी मैम गाड़ी अब कहाँ से खरीदेंगे मैम ये तो अब थोड़ी सी प्रूफ � आप प्रूफ क्यों देना पड़ रहा है इतना कुछ होने के बाद मैम ये नजायज तंग करने वाली बात है कि घर के आगे से गाड़ी बिना नोटिस के गाड़ी उठा ली इन्होंने जो हमारी गाड़ी का 45000 रुपए का रेट आ रहा था वो अब ये साढ़े 22 रुपए किलो के हिसाब से 18000 रुपए मुझे देंगे गाड़ी का बहुत पुरानी गाड़ी है 15 साल पुरानी गाड़ी है लेकिन एक महीना फालतू हुआ और इन्होंने गाड़ी घर के आगे से पार्किंग में से उठा ली गाड़ी चल नहीं रही थी वो जी नहीं बिल्कुल मैम तीन तीन महीने चार महीने हो गए उसको किसी ने हाथ भी नहीं लगाया मिट्टी डस वगैरह सब कुछ मैं वीडियो में आपको दिखा चुका हूँ बिल्कुल ऐसा बंद पड़ी थी गाड़ी 
और आपके साथ ही जो आए थे आपके दोस्त जो आए थे उनकी क्या मीटिंग चल रही है कुछ लोगों की मीटिंग हो गई जी मैम यहाँ पे कई लोग आए हुए हैं जिनके बी गाड़ी कई गाड़ी मर्सिडीज गाड़ी इन लोगों की गाड़ियाँ उठी हैं और ये लोग सारे के सारे परेशान हैं इन्होंने अपना ग्रुप भी बनाया जिसमें हमें भी ऐड किया है कि चलो आप हम सब मिल एक कंपेन चलाएंगे जैसे आप लोग मेरा नाव चला रहा है और हमारे लिए हेल्प कर रहा है ऐसे ये भी कंपेन चलाएंगे और हमारी हेल्प करेंगे जी बिल्कुल और हमारी जो कैंपेन लगातार आप के साथ खड़ी है हम और आपकी जो आवाज है उसको सब तक पहुंचा रहे हैं उस बारे में मैम बिल्कुल पब्लिकली लोगों के मीडिया के द्वारा अगर हमारी आवाज पहुंच जाए मेरे जैसे गरीब आदमी की जिसकी चालीस हजार रुपए की गाड़ी के पीछे मैं आज छेवा चक्कर है यहाँ लगा चुका हूँ मैम छह चक्कर हो गए मुझे मेट्रो से मैं आता हूँ मेट्रो से जाता हूँ और डेली मैं इनके हाथ पैर जोड़ता हूँ की मेरी गाड़ी आज फाइनली टाइम मिला आज फाइनली टाइम मिला सर से मिलने का उन्होंने थोड़ा आश्वासन दिया वो भी आप लोगों के मेरा नाव की वजह से की मीडिया की वजह से And absolutely, Shreya, we have been relentlessly covering this issue of citizen plight. How their cars were towed away from their resident, and without a prior notice or information. And after that, they have to knock from door to door, go okay. from door to door, and request officials to know where their their car is right now, uh, their the, okay. the belonging of the car, and the location of the car. But finally, today, after our okay. this coverage, they have got. the time from the commissioner and they have spoken to the commissioner okay okay has there been any forward movement well let's one step forward and one step backward uh, because the entire idea is to not to harass the citizen and instead what you're ending up doing is uh, asking the citizen to prove that his or her car was actually picked up from outside their homes uh, the transport department now saying show us the proof a you pick up the car from outside my resident from inside a gated community which is wrong you're violating the rule here and you're doing it without a notice and now you want me to prove that you actually picked up the car from outside my residents i mean is this uh, this is the theater of the absurd as i said that is playing out i have two guests who are joining me our phone lines are open as well ladies and gentlemen because this is your story this is your channel and this is your campaign we want to hear from you our numbers are on your screens we already have a long line of callers uh, but before i go to them let me quickly introduce my guest to you professor shriram khanna is managing editor of the consumer voice magazine he is joining us on the broadcast and mr gd singla is joining us here in the studio he is a practicing chartered accountant but more importantly he is a victim himself uh, he is someone uh, who has faced the trauma of seeing his car being picked up from outside his residence and then not getting it back uh before i go to them i quickly want to take in a couple of callers uh, dinesh you're calling us from mumbai good evening go ahead please hello uh, i am speaking from mumbai i appreciate your campaign but i feel you are running a one sided campaign because this menace is there you know there is mm -hmm. a growing population of cars in the country and cars are left unattended in the public places by lot of people this city is getting full of khataras and occupying the public spaces people are unattended uh, cars are left so this is also not a good situation i do not support that somebody unauthorizedly mm. taking away your vehicle but please hear the authorities out also i don't think in our country people will pick up mm. the cars without some paperwork i i do, uh, do feel that way so our cities are becoming dirtier and dirtier unattended vehicles lying at the corners of the streets all across all across the country this is a big menace and auto company should be held accountable okay. for this particular to solve this social problem hmm. become a social unhygienic cars are left unhygienic is a very hygiene issue in okay. fact if you see the cars the way they are kept and why are they okay. using the public uh, space this is not a good thing i appreciate the campaign uh, no. that unauthorizedly dinesh i i appreciate but, but i appreciate but your point of view as well dinesh completely appreciate your point of view Okay, you are um, Dineshi. I completely appreciate your point of view. You are saying we are running a one-sided campaign. Here's the point: at no point are we saying don't take away cars that are parked in public places and are just contributing to the kabad in the city. At no point is this campaign saying that. Our campaign is simply saying, if there are cars that are parked outside someone's house, is that is that a public place? No. the place outside my house is not a public place if i park my car outside my gate that's not a public place if i've parked my car 
within my housing col colony or society, it's not a public place. So my car is A there. If my cars are being picked from outside my houses, outside my colonies, from within gated communities, without a notice, that is what we have a problem with. And I think that is what every citizen in this city, at least, at least in the Delhi NCR region, uh, has a problem with. So at no point am I saying, don't pick up cars that are in public places and have been lying there for years. Of course, pick them up. It's junk. It's adding to the junk in your city. Pick it up and junk it. No one is stopping you from doing that. But if you're picking a vehicle which is in decent running condition without giving a notice to its owner, that is simply not done because it's against the rules. You're violating the rules as well. Thank you very much in any case for calling us. Uh, let me go across to Captain Jakpal, who's, uh, Jaspal, who's joining us from Rotak. Uh, Captain, good evening. Go ahead, please. Good evening, Shreya. You don't have to be apologetic. You are running an excellent campaign. This man was talking from Bombay. He is absolutely not in touch with the ground. He, this country is run by rule of law. You have to issue a show cause audi altum paltum. That is, you have to give the reasons why do you want to pick up a car. Then you have to examine the in a, in a transparent manner. You have to examine his reply or her reply. Then pass a speaking order. Give adequate time. And in, 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 in no case, now the second aspect you people are picking up is to prove that your, your car has been picked up. You destroy the CCTV, you run a gang, you run into court, you pick up vehicles of your choice, you take the numbers from the RTO, and the entire uh, Delhi and everyone is in spin. And these people think they can raise a finger at the only channel. That has come to your rescue. Shame on you, them. Thank you very much. You are doing an excellent job. Don't be apologetic. Tell them you are not from this Thank country. You. Okay. Okay. Okay, Captain Jaspal, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Ganan Dorai is calling us from Bangalore. Just request a little patience from my guests. We'll listen to Mr. Ganan Dorai, and then we'll just go to, go to our guests. Uh, go ahead, please, sir. Okay, Captain Jaspal. Yeah. I can't hear you very well, Ganandurai. Please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What I'm telling is, today government is running short of revenue. So they have to uh, make revenue now. Mm -hmm. So people will buy new cars with 28% tax. So, today government is running short of revenue. That's why they are... Okay. So yes. Okay, so you're saying that uh, because the government is running short of revenue, uh, are they picking up cars so that people buy new cars and pay taxes? I would say we in any case pay such heavy taxes. The government should not be running short of revenue. Let me, uh, before I take in any more callers, let me get in our guests. G.D. Singla, you're a practicing chartered accountant. Yes, ma'am. And exactly that the same thing has happened to you? It, it happened much, much more, more than, than that. that. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they are gundas. They misbehaved with my wife, they misbehaved with me. The person from police uh, and, uh, check post also misbehaved. And by the way, when I tried to stop my vehicle, he said, you are uh, restraining a public servant from doing his duty. I'll file a case against you. He is that, uh, that is Ravi. He was the beat officer of the area, uh -huh. Pandavanagar police station. I know him very well. I said, show me some paper. He said, no, nothing doing, you talk to the SHO. I got his number, I called him, he didn't talk, talk uh, he said, oh, I am busy. Again, I asked the MCD person, show me some paper on what authority you are taking my vehicle. At least see my RC, it is valid up to October 2025. My car has PB number, Punjab number. And more of what are the result of your campaigns, what I thank you very, very much that you have got us this one receipt from the MCD. They are now accepting that vehicles are taken wrongly. But we have to prove. Uh -huh. I have a proof. In my this, I got a written statement. It is parked at Supreme Apartment Mayur Vihar Phase 1. Uh -huh. So now they will agree with me, I think. I hope so. They are giving it writing. It is from, picked up from Supreme Apartment Mayur, where phase one. Uh -huh. I think there will be no um, hey, LEB. Do you find it a little ridiculous that 
ridiculous. I'll bring in Professor Shriram Khanna as well, but do you find it a little ridiculous? Yes, it is ridiculous. Uh, that yeah, is. A, you pick up a vehicle. Right. First you err, then you, uh, err. Then you uh, fault, uh, find fault with us only. It is only a ploy to just uh, avoid people. Uh, many of the many, many people will not be having any uh, proof for being an educated person, by being present there. I try to get photos, but at the same time, I towed away my vehicle and uh, on the road. But my CCTV footage from a gated community, I am trying to get that. But, uh, I mean... Uh, did you at some point of time ask the transport officials or the police how they could pick up a car from inside a gated colony? If, if it was parked, say, for example, uh, in a market? Yeah. Yeah, I would that understand that. That is okay. That, 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 we agree. But from inside a gated community, and how did they know that your car was parked? That, that's the yeah. that main point. That's the main point. You're very, very excellent point you had uh, raised. They are getting uh, Reiki, unauthorized Reiki in the societies. We also got their uh, photos. They, people came one day before that, they took a Reiki and have photos of all the numbers or somebody may be guiding them. It may also be there somebody um, from my society or somebody from uh, elsewhere, they have some doubts. So they were have doing Reiki before that day, one day before that, picking up the vehicle. And they have some app which he was showing to me that see, your vehicle expert, this is Delhi number. It was in time, within time, six months before, I got it transferred to my brother in Punjab. And there also, one thing more, they have a condition that you cannot uh, uh, tow away a vehicle which has passed a fitness test. Hmm. Before issuing a new RC, they always get a fitness test tested okay. in Punjab. Okay. My vehicle was to send to Punjab specifically for this purpose. And they uh, took a fitness test, it was passed, then only they issued me RC. So second condition is also fulfilled. In spite of that, they were not ready to see any paper from me. They simply came, towed away and took the vehicle out. Even okay, Professor Shriram Khanna, would you would you want to come in here? Uh, you know this campaign on Mira now has been running for the last two weeks or so. Now, you know one part of the argument is that look, if your car, even if it is older than fifteen years old, it's a petrol car. If it's running fine, a and b, it's if it's not polluting the city and it has a PUC certificate. Uh, there is no need to take it off the roads. That itself doesn't, you know, hold any logic. But anyhow, given the fact that it's a Supreme Court judgment, let's not get there. My point, my point and my limited point is, is this the way you treat citizens? First, you are towing away their vehicles, sending it to the junkyard. When people raise a hue and cry, when people say, Are, our car is registration in Delhi. Why are you picking up a vehicle? Why are you picking up a vehicle from inside a, a, a gated colony? They are being told, okay. I mean, after two weeks... After two weeks of a television channel running a campaign, the transport commissioner is waking up and saying, okay, if it is not registered in Delhi, we'll see what we can do. But first, you have to prove to us that we picked up your vehicle from outside your residence. What is this? What is going on? Look, madam, what is going on is a very handed way. It's true that the law has been made for 10 years of diesel vehicle and 15 years of petrol vehicle. इसको दिल्ली में नहीं चलने देंगे। अगर ये लॉ है, तो इस लॉ को क्या आप सेंसिटिवली इंप्लीमेंट नहीं कर सकते? और ये तो है नहीं कि भाई जो गाड़ी 10 और 15 साल वाली है, वो हिंदुस्तान में नहीं चल सकती, वो पंजाब में चल सकती है, बाहर सभी स्टेट्स में चल सकती है, और हो ये रहा है कि जो लोग पहले तो और मैं खासकर आम आदमी पार्टी के ट्रांसपोर्ट मिनिस्टर से पूछता जाता हूं कि क्या आपकी पार्टी इस तरह सिटिजेंस को बिहेव करती है हमने तो नहीं उम्मीद की थी कि भी आपकी पार्टी जो कहती है हम आम आदमी की पार्टी हैं हम इस तरह बिहेव करेंगे आप तो उन बैंकों की तरह बिहेव कर रहे हो जिन्होंने ईएमआई ना देने पर प्राइवेट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लोगों को किराए पे लिया और वो आपकी गाड़ी उठा के ले गए मुझे तो लगता है कि दिल्ली सरकार ने ये काम भी किसी प्राइवेट कॉन्ट्रैक्टर को दिया है और मैंने देखा है कि जितने भी ये दिल्ली में गाड़ियां उठाने वाली क्रेन्स हैं ये सब प्राइवेट हैं और वो कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स हैं उनको पर पर उठाई पैसा मिलता है तो बड़े हैम हैंडेड तरीके से इसको इंप्लीमेंट किया जा रहा है आपको करना ये चाहिए था कि आपको एक साल पहले पंद्रह साल या दस साल की म्याद खत्म होने से एक साल पहले आपको नोटिस इश्यू करना चाहिए था कि आपकी गाड़ी का एक साल बचा है यदि आप इसको फलाने तरीके से ठीक नहीं कराओगे तो हम इसको उठा लेंगे और आपको नो ऑब्जेक्शन सर्टिफिकेट हम इशू करते हैं कि आप इसको किसी और स्टेट में ट्रांसफर करना चाहते हो तो कर लो 
ये तो आपने किया नहीं और अब लास्ट मिनट में क्योंकि आपने लॉ इम्प्लीमेंट करना है आपने किसी एजेंसी को एंगेज करके और थानों से मदद लेके लोगों की गाड़ियां उठानी शुरू कर दी और कोई इन्वेस्टिगेशन में नहीं है जैसे ये साहब बता रहे हैं कि इन्होंने ऑलरेडी ट्रांसफर करा लिया पंजाब में तो अगर पंजाब में गाड़ी रजिस्टर्ड है तो आप उसको कैसे उठा सकते हो दिल्ली में ये बात सही है कि वो पहले दिल्ली में रजिस्टर्ड थी यह मानते हैं परंतु कानूनी रूप से अगर पंजाब में वो रजिस्टर हो गई तो आप कैसे उठा सकते हो ना कोई सुनवाई है और ना कोई सुनने वाला है और क्या पुलिस इसको सुनेगी इसके लिए तो दिल्ली ट्रांसपोर्ट के ऑफिशियल्स को जवाबदेह ठहराना चाहिए आपके आरटीओ है दिल्ली की हर जगह पे तो क्या उन आरटीओ की जुरिस्टिक्शन नहीं है ये देखने के लिए कि हम ये काम सही तरह कर रहे हैं नहीं कर रहे हैं क्या उनको नोटिस no the delhi government used to pride itself mr khanna the delhi government used to pride and the aam aadmi party government used to pride itself on being very responsive to the citizens uh, you know people you spoke to in delhi would say ki one of the good things about the aam aadmi party is ki agar koi kaam ho unke mlas ka ghar khula rehta hai over the last 8 years that you know point of view that philosophy that dna of the aam aadmi party has clearly changed if this is the way that transport department decides to harass citizens and this is nothing but harassment and there are enough and more callers in the last two weeks who are telling us this is not just harassment this is a mafia at play as well because there is someone here that is making money many citizens have called and said they took away our cars didn't give us a receipt and they haven't even given us the money that was due to us uh, a, a, you know for junking the car so that money has not come there are many citizens who have called to tell us that their the, the car was taken taken away by the transport department for junking and two years later they get a call from punjab from a service center thanking them uh, for their patronage and asking them for feedback on their service which means someone had taken someone from delhi the transport department had taken away your car here in delhi saying that they are, it's being sent to the junkyard because it's over age and then it was conveniently sold to someone in punjab and someone has made money so there is a mafia at play here as well let me get get across to another caller who's calling us this is ashish who's calling us from delhi ashish good evening go ahead please hi ye to mam bahut badi taana chahiye na blackmail karke 15 saal ki gaadi pass kara di aur seedhe 5 saal kha gaye hum to matlab hum aatmahatya karenge isme aur kya karega banda कल को तो कोई गाड़ी खरीदना बंद कर देगा विश्वास ही नहीं करेगा नहीं अगर पॉल्यूशन गवर्नमेंट नहीं कंट्रोल कर पाई सजा डीजल के उपभोक्ता भुगतेंगे उसमें उन करोड़ों लोगों की क्या गलती भाई जिन्होंने गाड़ी खरीद ली डीजल की अगर सरकार प्रदूषण नहीं कंट्रोल कर पाई तो इसमें लोगों की क्या गलती या तो एक तिहाई पैसे वापिस करे वो अगर मैंने बारह लाख की गाड़ी दी है तो एक तिहाई मतलब चार लाख रूपये वापिस करे भाई जब एक तिहाई उम्र घटा दी तो वर्ल्ड is force used to phase out old vehicles in a city it's always incentives always and always incentives nowhere in the world will a government swoop down on a housing col- a colony and pick up vehicles from inside a gated colony without any notice and then tell the citizens after the citizens have run around circles for 2 years or 3 years that look if you want your car back you have to prove to us that we have picked up your vehicle from outside your residence it's completely illogical it doesn't make sense mr singh it doesn't make sense and it is absolutely a wrong thing they are asking for from the citizens we we are giving proofs that it was taken from gated society and aapke sath this happened to a lot of others as well 18 people huh. in my city in a single day 18 huh. people 18 cars and more they written supreme apartment se uthai hai gaadi huh. apartment means my property huh. not supreme apartment road supreme apartment out of city correct apartment of supreme apartment so at every stage essentially the transport department the mcd, MCD and the police. delhi police delhi police hand in glove have, have, have violated the rules all the rules have violated all the rules all the rules the policy have studied very carefully after my vehicle was lifted to just file a case with the high court 
it says clearly you are to support the citizens in free lifting of the vehicles hmm. in free lifting of the vehicle not to take forcibly hmm. number 1 number 2 there were eight people who were authorized to have uh, uh, scraping uh, for scraping of the vehicles after high court order like cancelling their license seven stopped only one point we taking away why who told them that uh, high court had not stayed any uh, see there's a mafia at work 100% why do you, why do you say that because, because nobody listened to us number one again <laughs> but main main bhi bata raha i'm just to tell you in detail i went to the police station hmm. met the sho just to file my uh, complaint hmm. they didn't take it okay. said uh, talk to the duty officer i go to the duty officer said talk to the sho or the pa he will allow i the other i will take i uh, said i will call the dcp immediately you please either refuse or uh, take it then i filed the rti asking that whether on that day 27th february 2023 your police station has authorized anybody from the police to go to my society along with the mcd authorities and the uh, pine wood technologies okay. number 1 number 2 if you are sent who what was the authority paper uh, on that basis you authorize them to uh, go with them to pick up the vehicle from my society the reply came nobody was sent to the on duty to, uh, to the spring society uh. number 2 we sent a person beat officer only for land order problem only mm. where when i asked the arrivee mr beat officer he said i have been authorized by the sho mm. i asked where did your one gi in the police station there is no record okay so you went to the police, police then mcd mc you went you to the police the office okay because the notice was from them hmm. so i went there thrice for so four times okay he refused to meet simply great ha huh. i waited for hours then then you say i have uh, other meetings hmm. i will go okay so the police the mcd See, then dcp then dcp i okay. uh, send the registered letter speed post everything okay. i wrote a mail to the um, uh, transport uh, minister also okay. no reply no reply So essentially, a the system will not follow the rules. We also one more thing. Hmm. We also contacted our uh, uh, partial. Okay. And the MLA from my city. Ha. Huh. They said no. I can't do anything. It is a rule. You have to follow. It means the mafia has spread its wings to all the concerned persons wherever we can go. Hmm. They manage all of them beforehand. Then only it happened. So a essentially, the system will not follow rules. No. Right. Yes. They will. illegally come without any notice without pick any. your vehicle up yes and then you will knock at every door, every door. and the system will not respond to not you not respond at all even they will behave will, uh, with you like a beggar you have come there to uh, have some donation or some uh, begging you are asking from them hmm. so that is why i am uh, just uh, preparing myself to file a case in the high court hmm. uh, uh, shri ram professor shri ram khanna before i wrap this show I want to ask you look at look at what a tax paying citizen of this country is telling us Mr G D Singla is telling us that he knocked at every door every door the police the MCD the transport department the MLA You see they made him feel like is, a beggar is that what that governments are supposed to do is that what supposed to do that treat treat tax treat tax paying citizens as beggars madam is that what it has here been the answer to? has to be given by the transport minister of the aam aadmi party of the government of ncd of delhi this is a matter concerning the registered vehicle transport is a state subject it is under the supreme court judgment under the charge of aam aadmi party's government and the transport minister is responsible and if they have asked the police to cooperate the police cannot be held responsible but they should write they should at least accept the complaint that something illegal is happening I, I, it is shameful to see that neither the police is accepting a complaint nor the transport minister is saying anything and the mlas of the aam aadmi party are also keeping quiet because they have been told to keep quiet this is not how government policies are implemented they have to be implemented following mm-hmm. the rule of law rule of law is you take my property you give me notice and and mm-hmm. justify it legally that that you are legally taking my vehicle and here after illegally picking up my vehicle you are saying you prove that is so you are having a theft in your house and the uh, policeman is saying ki bhai tum prove karo ki tumhare ghar mein chori hui hai are tumhara kaam hai prove karna hai chori hui hai hamara kaam nahi hai hamara kaam shikayat karna hai police ka kaam nahi police kar rahi hai 
आम आदमी पार्टी का एमएलए और एमएलए का चुनाव हुआ मिनिस्टर ट्रांसपोर्ट का नहीं काम कर रहा है तो केजरीवाल क्या कर रहा है वो सो रहा है क्या आई थिंक द आम आदमी पार्टी हैज टू वेक अप यू कैन ट्रीट सिटीजन लाइक दैट ऑन ऑन द वन हैंड यू आर सेइंग वी आर डिफरेंट एंड द अदर हैंड यू आर एक्टिंग इन एन इलीगल मैनर एंड व्हेन समथिंग इलीगल हैपेंस अगेंस्ट यू यू रन टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट दैट द एलजी हैज डन दिस नाउ व्हेन द सिटीजन इज इज सेइंग यू हैव डन समथिंग इलीगल व्हाट इज ही सपोज्ड टू डू प्लीज so the answer should be given by mr kejriwal and the transport minister of the delhi nct thank you you know the trans the tra we have tried to thank you we have tried to contact the transport minister to no avail he doesn't want to speak he doesn't want to respond to questions he doesn't want to respond to our questions mera now's questions he doesn't even want to respond uh, to questions of citizens who voted his party into power so that's how things are playing out in the national capital we'll leave it there for the moment thank you thank you shriram khanna for calling us mr singla thank you very much for joining us and thank you to all our viewers who essentially have fueled this campaign into its second week we continue with this campaign because you are telling us not to let go of it for the moment though i'm slipping into a quick break on the show uh, there's